Welcome everyone, in order to insert a SIM card in Google Pixel 7 Pro, first of all, if you do care about dual SIM, uh, you can insert one physical SIM card, which I will showcase, and then for the second SIM card, you will need to activate an eSIM, uh, I will show out how to use that in the video, uh, if you are in the eastern part of the hemisphere, some Pixel 7 Pro models may have a dual physical SIM card, and in that case you can use two physical SIMs. So, let's start off with inserting the physical SIM card, I'll move to eSIM later. Take a look at the Pixel 7 Pro box. If you don't have the box, I'll show an alternative you can take in a little bit. But if you do have the box, you want to open it up, and you want to find the top part of the box, where you have all this paper right here. So if I just flip this around, you're going to have the instruction manual here, and you should also have this piece of paper, grey, and it should have the SIM card tray right here. Just want to fold these two parts up, slowly pull up, and then pull out, and you can see here we have the SIM card tool. Now, if you don't have the box, or you don't have the SIM card tool for whatever reason, you can use a SIM card tool from an, uh, another device. This is from an old iPhone here. Uh, it was in the old iPhone box. You can also use a pin, or you can use a paper clip, and you bend out one of the sides so it looks like this. Once you have the tool you would like to use, let's go to the Pixel 7 Pro itself, and you're going to see this outline in the hole here. If you don't see this, just make sure the phone is facing upright, which means the camera is showing at the top, and if you go to the left hand side, you should see this outline in the hole. There are some other holes in the Google Pixel 7 Pro. If you accidentally inserted the SIM ejector tool in these holes, uh, Google knows some people may do this, so there is protection, so your phone will not be damaged. But you just want to insert the uh, thin end of the SIM ejector tool into the hole right here. So I'm going to push down, keep on pushing, and you should feel a little click when you push down. Once you do that, you don't need the SIM ejector tool anymore. And with a fingernail, you can slowly pull out the SIM card. So this is the SIM card tray right here. Again, uh, you are going to notice we have two sides. So you have this side here, which is fully flush. And then we have this side here, which is indented. You want to make sure the side which is indented is facing upwards, okay? So you can see, if I rub my finger, there is an indent here. You can also see, it's hard to pick up, but there is text here as well. So that means that is the right side. So once you've done this, you're going to get your SIM card. And you notice we have this ridge. It's actually going to focus. See that ridge on the SIM card? There is also a ridge and the SIM card tray. So the ridge needs to be facing the same side on the SIM card and the SIM card tray. And once that is verified, you can just push down the SIM card into the SIM card tray. And if you rub your finger across, it should feel nice and flush now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the side of the Pixel 7 Pro. And we're gonna see the hole at the top just make sure the hole of the SIM card tray is also at the top. You can see right here. And once you verify that, push the SIM card tray back in the Pixel 7 Pro. And if we swipe up to open, we slide down once, slide down again. We can open up the settings app. You're then going to see where it says network and internet. And you're going to see your SIM right here. If you tap on the SIM, you can see all of the SIM card information. Now, if you wanted to set up dual SIM in Google Pixel 7 Pro, simply tap on the plus here. You're going to see connect to mobile network. And you're going to see download a SIM in, uh, instead. Tap on this one and then tap on next. 
and now this will proceed to the eSIM setup. So from here, you will need to scan your QR code for your eSIM. If you have no clue what that is, then you may need to contact your carrier and ask for that QR code. A QR code looks something like that, if you're wondering. You place the QR code in the frame of the camera and then eSIM will be activated without any issues. And with that being said, that's how you insert a physical SIM card and activate eSIM if you would like a dual SIM setup. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.